That's our number one rule, get every student home safely every day. It is a daunting task keeping schools safe from attackers, one that's top of mind for all educators always. And ABC6 is on your side tonight with the latest high-tech security that promises to keep everyone protected. Steve Levine on your side looking into how this new prevention sounds the alarm on safety. Steve, tell us more. Well, guys, check this out. This looks like a smoke detector and it fits right in your hand. The sensor does alert you when there's smoke, but it's the smoke of a gun. Inside South Columbus Prep Academy at Southfield. You're finding the pattern. Yeah. It's all about reading, writing, arithmetic, and safety. How important is security in the school? Well, it's the number one priority. We walk the halls with Dr. Chad Carr, executive VP with Excel Schools, the group that runs South Columbus Prep and more than 70 other charter schools in Ohio. Carr tells us teachers and staff all trained to be on the lookout for suspicious activity in the building. Most of the problems don't happen in the classroom. It happens in transition, going to the bathroom, going to lunch. It's the reason why the K-8 through school has an in-depth safety plan that includes a security buzz-in system and 18 cameras. There's a teacher right, walking right there. Um, we got a student coming right here. Surveillance in all halls and classrooms. Anything that gives us an early warning so that we can protect uh, the children that go here, I think it's something we need to do. Since August, gun violence in schools across the country has claimed the lives of 16 people in 35 cities, 46 victims wounded, having the most updated security, a top priority for all schools. ABC6 is on your side with the latest high-tech surveillance to protect kids in the classroom. High alert. Possible gunshot detected near campus. This may look like a smoke detector, but it's the newest security gadget designed to warn about violence, including an active shooter. When an elevated sound is detected, we launch all cameras around. Stressed voices detected in central. Nate Green with Prime Secured in Worthington shows us how speakers in the ceiling and sensors notify administrators within seconds about breaking glass and gunshots. Warning staff through speakers and real-time video about a potential suspect. Boundary box around the active aggressors in the room. It's going to send a high priority alarm to the staff and faculty. The tiny microphones pick up not just violent gunfire, but yelling and shouting. Nate, this stops today. This is going to end. This demonstration shows us when loud, aggressive yelling is in earshot of the tiny sensors. Hey, I'm tired of this. Bring tired it on. Bring it on. This is corporate security. Aggression has been detected at this location. You must calm down or risk having law enforcement contacted. Second save lives in this case. And so if we know where it's at, we can get there very quickly. Dr. Carr now interested in adding the sensors to the school security network. This network with 25 sensors can cost around $10,000 for an annual subscription service, a big chunk of change for many charter schools like South Columbus Prep. We operate on a third of, of the budget as, uh, as our district neighbors, um, so we have to pinch every penny. For schools scraping for cash, we've discovered government money is available. We've discovered there are at least four federal and state programs that offer security grants to keep schools safe. And oftentimes that process can seem a little intimidating, um, might not know where to start or, or how to uh, navigate through that system. Security training company Safe Passage Consulting based in Columbus, now working with schools to help them cut through the government red tape to get the funding they need. And we don't want them to think that they're just in this alone. Uh, we want to be able to, to, to get out there and help as many people as we can. <laughs> Financial and safety help, schools like South Columbus Prep say, is needed now more than ever to stop the violence. We just want to make sure it never happens here. That's our main concern. We want to do everything we can to prevent that. Now we've learned the sensors which can be installed into security cameras are being used in school districts and some health care facilities right now around central Ohio. Now we have a list of the federal and state security grants on our website. Several have already passed the deadline for this year, but there are details about what's available in 2023. On your side, Steve Levine, ABC6 News.